The Independent is reporting on some increasing fundamentalism in India. They say two Muslim women have reportedly been beaten up at a train station in India on suspicion of carrying beef. The women were reportedly about to be arrested after police were tipped off that they were traveling with a large quantity of beef to sell. The women were reportedly beaten by a mob shouting, Hail Holy Cow! Police recovered uh, some of the meat from the women, which was later discovered to be buffalo meat. Wow. So, uh, what we have here is Hindu fundamentalism and a Hindu fundamentalist mob attacking Muslims because they thought, Oh, you have meat of the holy cow. See, by the way, this is what new atheists mean when they talk about how ideas have consequences. If it wasn't for the goofy idea that cows are holy, this wouldn't happen. This wouldn't happen. <laughs> because there's a, we are going to attack you, we're going to beat you up because we think you have holy cow meat. So if that doctrine wasn't a thing, if that wasn't a belief that they held, well then the Muslim women wouldn't have be, been beaten up. But they were beaten up. Because that goofy idea still persists. And this is what's so weird about living in 2016, is that you look around, and yes, there now we do have the existence of secular liberal values. But it's like so much of the world still has just a completely different framework and view of the world where they look at something like, do you have cow meat? And they think, oh, maybe we should kill you. I mean, do you have any idea how many cheeseburgers I've had in my life? According to this ideology and this doctrine, that makes me evil beyond recognition. I, you ate a holy cow? They're holy. They're fucking holy and you ate one of them? What the fuck is wrong with you? No, what is wrong with you? And I think the most important thing for us to do, people who don't believe in this doctrine, is to just point out that that's not based on anything. Like, okay, I get it, you know, hey, it's part of your religion and it was passed down from generation to generation and this is how you believe and this is how you worship, but I am proudly not a moral relativist. I don't look at your fucking silly belief and go, oh, I must respect it because you believe it. No, I don't have to do that. In fact, if your belief is actively causing harm on other people on this planet, well then no, I'm gonna say, not only is it like, hey, you just believe differently, I'm going to say, you are wrong because you are wrong. You're part of one religion. There are 4,000 religions on Earth right now. Are you really special enough to be born into the right one? Well, oh, no, I, I know I got this right, for sure. Uh, are you? Sh how sure can you be that, oh, the cow is the holy one? Why not an elk? Why not an elk? <clears throat> Why not a fucking muskrat? Why is that not holy? Well, my mommy and daddy told me that this one's holy, and they heard it from other people who've said it, and this was all based going back, 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 all the way back until you hit people who don't know what the fuck they're talking about, who are writing shit down before we even had science. And you're going to trust these people? Oh, I'm sure they nailed it. I'm sure they nailed it. A bunch of idiots back however many years ago sitting around, I don't know, is that thing holy? Some mushrooms grew out of its shit, and I ate it, and I got high, I guess it's holy. That, by the way, might actually be the thought process that went into it. For those of you who don't know, magic mushrooms, if I'm not mistaken, they come out of cow shit. So the mushrooms that make you high, fucking psychedelic trip. And so pro people probably ate that, and then they were like, Oh, shit! I'm so high! And they had this life-changing experience, they go, the cow must be holy. Maybe that's what it comes from, I really don't know. But either way, the idea that you beat people up or hurt people... Because you have a goofy-ass belief about this large fucking bovine that farts all day. I'm not going to respect that. I'm going to mock that. And it, there should be nothing held sacred in that way. That's not to say all Hindus are bad people, because of course not all Hindus are bad people. But that is to say, fundamentalist Hindus who would go as far as to beat up another human because they maybe, maybe not had cow meat, they're the problem. The fundamentalists are the problem, just like fundamentalist Muslims are a problem, just like fundamentalist Christians are a problem. We have to defeat all these different ideas and let people know, in 2016, this shouldn't be a thing. We should all be for tolerance, we should all be for equality, and at the same time, we should realize that when there are ideas that are harmful to this planet, 
we need to argue against them because if we don't and those ideas run amok, active harm will be done. And in this case, you had two poor Muslim women who were victimized as a result.